hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain how to create a stored procedure and execute that stored procedure in MySQL I'm using the real remote server of GoDaddy hostings which is PHP my admin let's start to create a stored procedure I'm logging to my GoDaddy account to connect the database of MySQL after logging to my PHP my admin of GoDaddy which is MySQL this is my user database mysql db when i'm expanding here showing all the tables but there is no any stored procedures in this database so how to create a stored procedure there are two ways we can create the stored procedure click on your user database in my case it's mysql db i'm clicking on it notice here there are tabs here under my database go to routines click on it add routine click on it routine name is nothing but a, it's a stored procedure name Proce write your stored procedure name I am writing student details details see here in the drop down procedure and function choose a procedure in this example I am creating a simple stored procedure I am not adding any parameters here I'm calling only select start from students tables students click go see here my SQL DB procedures when I'm expanding the student details of stored procedures created execute see here Jack Peter Mohit Vijay in the student table Jack Peter Mohit Vijay in the next method I am showing how to write a stored procedure query in SQL click SQL just delete this default query For the first point when we create a stored procedure in PHP my admin or my SQL First, we need to set the delimiter. Delimiter double forward slash create procedure. Do any procedure name for this. Here I am taking the st1, the procedure name. The next step is begin. In this example, I'm taking. I want to display the employee details. So, select start from employee table and call double slash. Call the delimiter here. See here showing unexpected characters here. Don't worry about this. Just go sometimes you'll get this kind of error but the code is right see here the procedure when I refresh st1 is created don't worry about these things now it's time to call the stored procedure before calling the stored procedure of st1 I want to show the records the employee table so in the employee table I have Jack Raju and John now we'll call the stored procedure st1 using SQL query. Just delete this default code, default statement. Call st1. Go. So here is the output call st1, the details this is how we create stored procedure in php my admin or my sql now next i want to show you how to delete the stored procedures in my sql database in procedures folder i have two stored procedures now i'm deleting the student details click on the my sql db 
proteins here are the store procedures now I'm dropping the student details drop click OK see here the student details store procedure has been deleted now I want to delete this also st1 store procedure using the store using the query go to SQL so the query is to delete the procedure right drop procedure st1 if you want to delete the table write the table name here if you I am deleting the store procedure st1 drop procedure st1 go now I am reloading the navigation panel see I have just deleted the st1 store procedures that's it thank you for watching my video if you like this please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you in my upcoming videos